now I'm going to give you a demo about the finance part. We have a ClickSense dashboard here in front of us. Um, of course, you have seen already what the behavior of Click is, so we can click, we can just see the action immediately on all the different uh, uh, apps. We have some KPIs that give us insight on, what, on how we are doing. We have uh, an operating revenue that's going up. Our gross margin is going uh, down a little bit. I have the possibility to select between countries. For instance, I could just select Netherlands if I wanted to and just see what the impact is in our country. I could select uh, for the currencies if I wanted to and I could just easily switch if I want to compare my uh, yeah, numbers with a budget, for instance, it's immediately different. And for instance, the forecast. We have some bar charts over here, uh, also here. If I select some extra months, of course, we could see the colors that would indicate in which months we are. I deselect them, it would autom automatically go back. And here in the corner, the right corner, we also have a somewhat uh, small version of a P&L that's showing me the operating revenue, some costs and the EBIT at the end. But I'm more interested in uh, what is the operating revenue, for instance, made out of? So if I go to the next page, I have a PL follow up. So this is our ClickSense uh, PL made by uh, Climber Fizzlip. We have uh, different dimensions here. For instance, what we could see here are the countries, and underneath, we could see for this is a total, we have some actual um, numbers, we have a forecast, and we have the difference. So the actual first is the forecast, and here we have our GL components. I'm able to scroll down or deep uh, dive in if I wanted to. So I have my numbers here. I could even go deeper into uh, the products that we have. For instance, I could go up, but I'm also able to change this very quickly. So I'm able to switch between the dimensions I see here on top. So right now I have country, but maybe I'm more interested in the year month combination. So I've selected, we have a total for the period that I have selected. For now we are in 2018. And we're looking at the first four months of this. So I could see this and could see what the outcome is. Could change it back, of course, to country, what we started with. But I can also change the drill down, what we have here. So I have my consultation fee with the numbers. But if I wanted to maybe get year month over there, so I have a bit of better view on how we are developing in the consultancy fee, I could just change this, expand again and just see the months here. With just a click of a button, I can get the different views and that makes it really easy just to analyze these numbers. But of course, uh, the beginning of this year, end of Q1, COVID hit us of course, and now my manager uh, asked me if, yeah, this is nice of course, we're in the beginning of uh, 2020, but I need to know where we're heading. And we have multiple scenarios, so give me some of these scenarios. It would be really hard, of course, to export this data into, uh, into Excel, uh, maybe, then get all the different calculations and create my own scenario. And I know what my boss is going to say, of course. Uh, no, uh, you have this a uh, little bit wrong. I need to do, uh, you need to upgrade this a bit. And then I have to do all my work all the way over again and then start. That's not what I want, of course. So I could uh, close this and go to the next page. I have a PL for my scenario. What you've seen before, of course, we still have the same month. So we have 2018 selected. The first four months, we have no countries. And I'm looking towards my forecast. So we have the same PL here with the same uh, descriptions over here. We can see the forecast, of course, also the actual versus the forecast. So what's the difference between them? And I have a scenario tab. So this is where I can create my own scenario. So I have my actual values, obviously they're the same currently, and I have my scenario versus the forecast that we have created. And I have a column that indicates right now zero because I haven't done anything, but it's giving me the rest of year impact. So we see the FISLIP input form here, and we are able to uh, slide this around if we wanted to, so I could decrease it, and it immediately, um, gives me the answer in my PL. So I see we have a consultation fee, we have a drop of 12%, but I could also get an increase of maybe 25% and it will automatically put this in, put it in a variable and calculates what the outcome is. 
that makes it, of course, really strong to make some uh, uh, scenarios. So, for instance, I could say, uh, let's do a COVID scenario where we think, yeah, probably our consultation fee will drop. Makes sense, of course. Uh, I could go down to my operating costs. If our consultants, of course, have uh, less work to do, we could do more, uh, maybe some more internal work, and that maybe will up the uh, maintenance costs. So that would, of course, get more. Um, but maybe the government helps us with our salaries, of course. Uh, in a lot of countries, the government helps. So we could uh, say we have a decrease there, so it costs us less. So what I showed, I could uh, slide, but I could also enter this. And maybe we have some external costs. For instance, the rent, maybe the landlord helps us. Uh, we could decrease this maybe for 40%. And maybe transportation, yeah. Um, before this, I flew all over the place in, uh, in Europe. Now I'm mostly doing the work from my home or our home office. So transportation for a company is really down a lot. Going through this, I'm just able to just switch between uh, and scroll everything to left or right if I wanted to, and I directly see the rest of year impact. And I could see with this scenario that I have created, for the rest of the months, we're going to have an EBITDA that's going to be negative. But then still, I've created this. Uh, I'm the only one, of course, here in my office. Um, I can create a bookmark, but that's still for me. So I could maybe say uh, my first uh, scenario. I've created this. I can uh, give a description if I wanted to, and I can create it. So let's save it. It's there. So when I come back tomorrow and uh, someone asks me, hey, have you uh, shown me that, um, uh, that scenario that you have created? I can just easily go back to this scenario and share this. I could also do a reset, for instance, if I wanted to create another scenario. Everything goes back to zero and I can start all over if I want. But as I just told you, I can also go back to my first scenario and this would enter, of course, all the variables and you would see the same figure here. But uh, still again, this is only for me. The better thing would be what we already saw with Michael to collaborate with my colleagues on this because this is uh, where it becomes more interesting uh, because I can discuss now my scenario with other colleagues and other colleagues can have made scenarios maybe for me. So for instance, Olaf, he has created a conservative scenario, he says, and he adds me and he asks me, what do I think? So I can click on his name, but also apply the selections and I could immediately see what he has done. His scenario is even worse than mine because it's uh, even more negative, but we can also go to a threat and he asked another colleague, hey, Jonas, can you please take a look at this one as well? Also, Jonas looked at this one. And I think he says, with the latest deal, I don't think we have to expect more than a 20% decrease in consultation. And maybe you can cut the group costs that would lay off and maybe we have a good scenario. I could also apply these selections and could immediately see what he has done. And yes, we have an EBITDA of, that is nearly positive. And I can also respond again on this one. And I think, yeah, maybe with 25% uh, of the group cost will give us maybe a more realistic outcome. So I could just apply mine. And what we can see right now is that I've cut the group costs a little bit and we still have a little bit of a positive EBITDA. So how, is, how does this work then? Um, what you can see here for the, uh, for the people who know ClickSense a little bit, these are variables that are entered and we create this of course uh, for ourselves. But we can do this, uh, set these variables up automatically based on everything that we fill in here. How do we create this? Michael already mentioned it, we have an Excel sheet for this. So we could really easily set this up for you guys. So we can create our own groups if we wanted to and set all the accounts that are linked to these uh, to these groups. So this makes it really easy for us and also for the company we're working for to set this up in, uh, in days instead of weeks or months. This is then automatically generated and we can build this for you, of course, and then you can slide and create your own scenarios. The good thing also with, uh, with this part, so maybe I can up the things. It's not bound to this click sense part. Uh, I could also share this for instance with maybe Slack or Teams. I'll use Slack as this uh, example and uh, check this out. And I can just type in whatever I wanted to. 
I can add and share a comment. If I do this, I can go to Slack to see. We have a demo collaboration. This is where you will find then uh, the outcome of what I just told you. Everyone can see this, that is in this uh, here in as a member. And I can go back to the scenario if I click on this and it will open the page automatically with this view, with the scenario that I've created right here. 